cotton wool strip in between each toe has to be tucked up mm -hmm. so that her bony little bits are not pressing up against each other. So I'm pretty happy with how that's looking there now, okay? Yep. Then what we're going to do, and really, you probably don't really need the melalin at this stage because it's nice and dry, but we're going to pop that little bit of melalin over the top. Yep. Then we're going to cotton wool her whole foot. Gotcha. Okay? Yep. So just gently, and you don't, you don't tighten it, you just lay it on. Yep. Okay? Probably that's almost enough, I reckon. Now... One more thing. Dew claw. Dew claw. <laughs> so front claws, up front front only, yep. dew claws. You have to make sure you get a layer of cotton wool in between the dew claw yeah. and the bandage, okay? Because otherwise you'll end up with a rub there. Yep. So that's that bit. Next, and with this bit, is the bit that it's easier to tighten too much. So the way you prevent that is you unroll it first like that, mm -hmm. okay? Lay it on and literally we are just laying it on. We're not pulling it and wrapping it tight. We're laying it and we're wrapping it around, okay? Gotcha. And so when I get to the end, I just kind of, again, just pull it out, wrap it back on and then I know that I'm not over tightening it. And you'll figure out the way you just, you know, you can just kind yep. of bend it to the way you need to Get around her pad and then just tear it off so that now that only sticky bit is the bit that goes there. Gotcha. Okay? So just a small amount. But if you're getting that excessive rub, I want you to try it out. But you can imagine that that's probably not going to stay on for too long. No, it wouldn't. And it would slide off when I pull the boot off too. Yes. So. Yeah. I'm leaving the boot on most of the time. Yeah, look, I mean, it's lovely and dry in there, yeah. so I think that's fine. So, principles, sticking boot to leg, go underneath yep. that little pad. And again, don't pull and top because you'll over tighten. You yep. just need to lay. And that's it. And then stick the little hearts back on. <laughs> yeah, you can do that bit. <laughs> All right, so we'll have a look at this one. Good girl. Good girl. Very tolerant. Um, with elastoplast, you can um, reduce the stickiness of it by using something like methylated spirits will actually take the glue off. So if you're struggling because the elast, like the sticky seems to be extra sticky and she doesn't like you unwrapping it, yeah. then um, soak some cotton wool in methylated spirits and just dab it on. It takes the stick out. But just to warn you that once you've done that, when you try and re-stick your next layer on, then it's probably not going to stick as well. It's going to stick, yeah. yeah. I think she, because she's gone through that eight weeks of treatment of having her feet oh, bound, yeah. she's sort of got used to it, I think. She has. Oh, the other thing I'll say to you is when you're... Like you use your thumb oh, right. to kind of, you know, Just take the, the hair down. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly yeah. so it's not kind of pulling her yeah. so much. Good girl. Will this one come off as one. Good girl. Good girl. Well done. It's a little skinny feet. Yeah. So this one, she's had a little bit more bleeding from this toe, so you can see that that's yeah. why we're changing it today. Yeah, she good noticed girl. there was a little bit of blood staining inside yeah, her boot. Yeah, good girl. You're okay. So that one is a little bit stuck. But looking good. 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 This corn was actually the bigger corn. Yeah. But looking good there, Mark. Thanks, All right. Mark. So same thing on that one now. Good girl. second damage is too big for the boots <laughs> all right so you've got the benefit of not having oops wrong foot so again check your bony prominences yep. so your knuckles in between the toes so again a little bit bruised but not moist you can have a sniff smell for yeasty infections but it all looks good 
So then we're just padding. Good girl. She's certainly become very trusting of me, I feel. Yes, she has. Yes, you've uh, stepped into the inner sanctum and I'm going to yeah. let you play with my feet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which is lucky, really, isn't it? Yeah. Hey? Yeah, imagine if she was objecting. <laughs> Good girl. So we're going to aim to have her feet bandaged. I think this time we can probably leave them on for a week. Right, okay. so I'll do it every weekend. I think so, unless she gets them wet, yep. in which case if she gets them wet or they seem smelly or the other thing is if she starts chewing at the bandages, that's usually a good indication that something's going on yep. that's upsetting her. So if one of those things happens, I want you to change them sooner. Yep. Otherwise, we'll get a week out of this. Yep. And ideally, I think we'll change next weekend and the following weekend. Um, and then hopefully that will be enough. Okay. Now the stitches have to come out, they're not dissolving? Uh, they are dissolving ones oh, and okay. I think it's actually better just to leave them in there. What happens often when you do this surgery is that the whole kind of bottom of the pad will slough off but it'll slough off without, you know, and the corn will be gone. Yeah. So losing the actual top layer of the pad is not a concern and will probably happen. Right. Um, but what we have to be aware of is when that pad is in its very kind of sensitive new stages that it will obviously be very um, thin yep. and it's going to be very prone to... Um, More corns. Yeah. <laughs> be... Particularly if it's mechanical, you know, yeah, so the impact right. of the bone. And also things like foreign bodies, so grit, for instance, yeah. so the gravel type injuries are, are very common when you have these very thin pads. So just again, it, it means all it means is that even after the bandages come off, we use the boots when she's on outside surfaces. Yep. Good girl. And again, just laying that on. And that's it. That's done, Miss Moo. And as I